We felt a call in to, um, to move into urban inner city area, um, particularly um, deprived areas. People tend to move out of those sort of places, um, Christians particularly, rather than move in. And just we felt God um, calling us to go to do the opposite really. Um, and there was a, a team starting in Glasgow around about the time when we were looking. And we came to Apostle and just felt really that that was a place, it just felt very right for us. Wherever you go about, you just see things around and just living in the community just helps you, help, not, not completely, but just helps you get a better understanding of how people, the sort of lives people are going through and um, what, you know, what the challenges they're having to face really. Ten years ago in Apostle Park, my life consisted of collecting my methadone, maybe going up to the cross to score some drugs. Uh, I came to the Grove, it was just after I got out of hospital. I was standing at the bus stop just out there and the people in here came out and asked me if I would like to come in. I told them about my addiction to heroin, methadone. Through their help and support they pointed me in the direction of an organisation called Street Connect where they, I think they were doing the Bethany's uh, Bridge to Freedom programme where I went along to that and I'd done their 15 week faith-based programme. My life has been totally changed and transformed uh, since putting my faith and trust in God. My official job title is a settlement and um, recovery worker and um, that gives me the opportunity to work in, in areas where I get to help and support guys to get back on their feet when maybe caught up in, in drug addiction and stuff. I know that anybody that meets with God has got all the potential um, under the sun and um, if we can bring a person to being stuck in drug addiction and in a relationship with God, the world's the, the oyster so to speak. Everyone's got gifts and everyone's got an ability to do things. I think what's happened over the years in areas like um, Postle Park is the uh, people have been stripped of them and um, have been told that they're, they're no good for anything and so I, I just um, like the opportunity to be able to shine a light if you like on, on people's gifts and, um, and for people to be able to see that they are capable of doing things for themselves and, and they don't need other people um, to do things for them but that they you know they can and they're capable of actually changing the community and um, bring it flourish and helping the community to flourish themselves.